This video follows on from the first inspect surface video which showed how a measured surface such as a concrete floor, a vertical wall, a dam and so on could be inspected and compared to the design. With Leica Captivate version 2 the app has been extended and it's now possible to inspect road surfaces and tunnels. Imagine in the field the ability to check a measured road surface or tunnel to the design and see the differences between the two. This can save an enormous amount of time and money by allowing the surveyor to make decisions in the field. For more detail on the app, please watch the first video. This video will show how quick and easy it is to inspect a road surface or tunnel. Firstly, we choose the road design we want to use. We then start the app and choose that the reference surface will be based on a road design. Remember the reference surface is the design. A road design normally consists of multiple layers and we need to choose which layer will be the reference surface. In this case, the final asphalt layer. In the Define Object to Compare panel, we need to choose what measurements will be compared to the reference surface. Remember that the Inspect Surface app is not only for multi-stations and scan data, Normal measurements for non-scanning total stations can also be used, but in this case we will use existing scans. We choose all the scans in the job and press OK. In the Define Color Scale panel, we define how we want the variations in distance of the scan from the reference surface to be colored. We know the road surface is quite close to the design, so we enter relatively small values. We press OK to see an overview of what is about to be compared, and then press OK again. The surface is analysed and the 3D viewer results drawn. And as described in the first video, here is where we can really inspect the surface. On the right hand side, the colouring indicates the differences between reality and the design. Remember, blue indicates where the road surface is lower than it should be, and red is where it is higher than it should be. If we tap on a scan point, we can see on the left hand side the perpendicular distance from the scan points to the reference surface. We can also see the chainage, horizontal and vertical offset of the points relative to the centre line. If we press measure, we switch to the measure mode. Here we can tap and hold to make the context menu appear, and then make the total station turn to the selected location. If the red laser pointer of the total station is on, we can easily indicate to the foreman where remedial work is needed. Let's go through the app once more with a tunnel design. Again we start the app, but this time choose a tunnel design. We move through the app in the same way as before, but of course this time the 3D viewer will show us the differences between our measurements and the tunnel design. Imagine how much time and money this can save. It would now be immediately possible to point the laser and show where more rock needs breaking from the tunnel, or where more shotcrete needs to be added. The Inspect Surface app was already a really powerful app allowing a wide range of objects to be inspected. Now the ability to inspect tunnels and road surfaces has been added, it is even more powerful. As mentioned at the start of the video, this app can save an enormous amount of time and money by allowing the surveyor to make decisions in the field. Previously, such decisions could only have been made after returning to the office and post-processing the measured data. Thanks for watching.